Hello and welcome to Overdrive. My name is Dan. Now, uh, this is the first video I'm ever going to put up for YouTube. Um, bitch, you're going to see more content. This is um, uh, a channel for anybody that um, really wants to learn how to fix their cars. <laughs> um, now, I've done a lot to my Mark IV Golf GTI. I'm just going to switch the camera over now because I'm on my phone at the minute. Um, so should, how do I do it? One sec. Oh, there we go. Now, if I can switch the camera over somehow, it will let me do it. Moment, I'm just going to have to turn the camera over because it's not letting me. Um, see there, that's my Mark IV Golf GTI 02. And, uh, I've done a lot to this car already, but I've still got a lot more to do. Now, I've taken the exhaust off. <laughs> it's a bit um, frozen at the minute. But, um, I've taken the exhaust off for now because I'm, I need to clean it because the emissions are really bad. And if anyone f didn't think that oven cleaner would be really good for cleaning your exhaust, it, it works. Trust me, uh, I've taken the box off for a minute and uh, the exhaust box and I'll show you that now. It's got oven cleaner all over it at the minute. Now look at that. I mean, I'm telling you now, look at this rust, right? It cuts right through it. It's unbelievable how well this stuff cleans. You see, straight inside there as well, I sprayed it all in. I've got some more oven cleaner, but I'm going to pour that in and I'm going to leave it overnight. But, I've got gloves on, so it's alright. That's how bad it is on the inside. But, when I bought this car, I bought this car uh, with a head gasket problem. It's been off the road for four years. And, um... Funny enough, it's been a pain in my backside, but it's getting there slowly. In four months I've had this. Uh, I went to pull it through the MOT last week and um, passed everything except for the emissions. I forgot to change the fuel filter and the O2 sensor for the catalytic converter. Now, um, the catalytic converter O2 is rusted shut no, it's stuck on so i have to take the whole exhaust off because whoever's had this car before decided to weld the pipes together which isn't a good idea but it's a pain in my backside but what can i do but um i'm trying to fit the um new the new fuel filter, the, the elbow connector to the fuel filter was corroded right? and it snapped off. Now I've got to get a whole new pipe because Volkswagen only do those parts and they only do the whole thing so it's about 25, 30 quid. But I'll be getting that in the next five days. But um, I'm going to pause this for now and after I've cleaned this, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Uh, see you guys soon. I'm back, you guys, and I've cleaned it a little bit, but um, it's come up amazing, actually. Look, let me just show you. Look at that. That has actually come up quite nice. Now, you can see where the lines were down here, where the rust was. I've scrubbed it with a wire brush and it's come up nice and clean. I'm actually surprised to be honest with you. But, um, I'll turn it around. You can actually start to see the, n the name of uh, who made it. But I will get there with it. By the time I'm done with this it will near enough look brand new. 
you can see it's still smoking. I've poured hot water down there to get rid of the um, oven cleaner, Mr. Muscle oven cleaner. And it's actually coming up quite nice. But I've got oven cleaner still, liquid stuff, which I'm going to pour inside it and leave overnight. Well, look at that. I can actually finally see through that. I don't know if you guys can be able to see that through camera, but... <laughs> can you enough see through it? Which is actually... Well, I can see the light through it anyway. But... This will take me a little while longer. But I'm only doing this... Because, yeah, I do oil and fuel and all that and every time you turn the ignition it was smoking really bad at the exhaust but I'm actually going to show you the engine quickly if I can find the key the battery's not in it so I'm not going to run it but I mean I can't run it anyway because <laughs> the fuel pipe But that's what I used. Mr. Muscle Oven Cleaner on that exhaust. Now, just leave that there for a minute. Just get in here. The car's a bit of a mess at the minute because I've been cleaning, cleaning it. Oh, one sec. But there's my engine. At first, it did have a cane in air filter, but I took that off because it wasn't passing, it didn't pass the MOT when the bloke had it before. Now, there's an oil air filter I've put on there because when I bought the box, uh, I didn't realise that I bought the wrong one because I only saw this side of the picture. I could not see this side and it said it was for the Golf GTI Mark IV, 2 litre, so I bought it, so I ended up having to get the IO Airflow um, filter, I had to modify it a bit because I got the wrong size, it does fine. <laughs> But this engine was in bad state when I got it. Uh, it's taken me about three months on and off while working at the same time to get this done. Uh, I'll put some pictures up of what I've done for it um, at a later date, as um, soon as I can get my uh, laptop fixed. But, yeah, that's quite a good clean engine now because before down here I don't know if you could see all that was covered in oil even around the rocker head that was covered uh, I've got a lot of plans for this I want to get rid of the original OEM pipes coolant pipes and get some silicone pipes uh, I want to get um, I also want to get metal pipe connectors as well um, I want to get uh, new um, engine mounts because these ones are fucked excuse my language it's only uh, you boys and girls that don't like bad language um, other than that I've done a really good job I've also done the brake discs and pads because they were really bad. I've still got the old ones as well. Because I will scrap them at some point. Once this car's on the road. Um, I need to do another coolant flush. And I also think that... Um, there's a blockage in the pipe somewhere for the coolant. 
Oh, I think that could be the heater matrix core. And that's going to be a pain in the ass uh, to fix up because I've got to take the whole dash out and everything. And that's something I'm really not looking forward to, guys. That is one thing I'm not looking forward to. I do apologise about the bad footage and that because this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, please don't be too harsh on me. <laughs> um, I'm not doing this to make a profit or anything, you know. I'm just doing this because it's a hobby of mine, fixing cars and getting them back on the road. And I thought, well, since I'm doing this and there's not a lot of um, videos in the UK. Sorry about that. There's not a lot of videos in the UK of people fixing golfs. Um, so I just thought, well, if I'm doing all this, I might as well share it with you guys. Because there's, uh, there's a lot of videos out there that Americans are doing. And um, not enough British videos. Normally when you look on YouTube and you look for a video, it's normally someone showing pictures and music behind them. And um, not really... Yeah, I think that's a bit silly to be honest. If you're going to put videos up on YouTube, guys, don't just put videos up with music behind it and just little clips of what you're doing. Let the, the audience follow what you're doing and get indulged with what you're doing not just putting pictures up and just music that's just daft come on but yeah um, I'm gonna be uploading another video on Saturday it's Sunday today um, I know it's uh, yeah. So I'm a bit tired guys from working and also doing this car and it's cold. But I'm also a bit nervous because this is my first video. But I will get used to it, I promise you. Uh if you liked what I've done with the exhaust, taking it off and spraying it with oven cleaner and to get it a bit cleaned up. I'm also I've also oh yeah. I've also got this stuff Mighty Oven Cleaner But that's going to go down the pipe And I'm going to leave it overnight To proper make sure it gets cleaned up And I've got the bag there as well To stick it in So it don't leak everywhere And I'm going to stick it in a bucket as well So it don't leak on the outside anywhere But See you guys later, and I'll upload again on Saturday. If you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.